truly the journey that we have this race of faith is going to come to a climax one day. Amen. Come to when Jesus comes back Amen. to establish his kingdom. And part of that millennial kingdom is the marriage supper of the Lamb. Amen. You know, when you think about marriage, when somebody is going to have a marriage, is a thing of joy. Mm -hmm. Great joy yes. is a new endeavor. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they look around, look, look around for their friends, mm -hmm. try to see who they need to invite, mm -hmm. who will come in and be a, an honored guest mm -hmm. uh, in that in that uh, ceremony. And here we're talking about spiritual marriage. Amen. And we're talking about Jesus has oh, sent out invitation mm -hmm. and he's called many. Mm -hmm. Come to this marriage. I'm inviting you. Amen. Come. And you know, um, he, the scripture says, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And this blessing comes when you actually honor the invitation. Mm -hmm. You gotta uns you gotta honor that invitation. Yes, yes. And you gotta receive it. And it's it's just not just showing up, but you receive it with your life. Amen. With your whole being, who Amen. you are. This Amen. invitation is so important, so great that you gotta receive it mm -hmm. with all your life. Amen. Everything about you. Amen. And when you, if you are able to be a part of it, it's not a day's event, it's not a month's event, mm -hmm. or a year's event, it's forever. Amen. It's forever, mm -hmm. for the ceaseless ages of eternity. Yes. This is the church who is uh, figuratively, the wife mm -hmm. of Christ. Amen. The church has made herself ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've lived a life that's worthy of his name. Mm -hmm. You've gone through trials. You've gone through difficulties. Now you put on that righteousness, mm -hmm. that white robe. You're clean. You're ready mm -hmm. to see your maker. Amen. To meet Jesus. But here we are. Look at this spiritually. He said, after these things, I had a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he had judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornication and had avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible speaks of the Babylon. Mm -hmm. You know, which, which nation is it on the earth that has so much power and so much influence and is corrupting the whole world? Mm -hmm. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Mm -hmm. We may be thinking, we read in the scriptures, which nation is it talking about? Mm -hmm. Which nation has the power and influence? In such a way, they're corrupting the world. I let you see that God is he's watching, He's looking. And I tell you, that nation that fits the bill will not escape His judgment. And He said in heaven, again, they said, Hallelujah. And her smoke rose up forever and ever. This smoke is speaking of the judgment. That judgment is eternal. But I tell you, that rejoicing in heaven was such that the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen. Hallelujah. A voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. All of this is, is also showing Oh, preparing the entrance 
the coming of this great marriage supper of the Lamb. Because he says in the seventh verse, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage supper of the Lamb is come and his wife had made herself ready. Because we have waited, we've prepared, we've all oh, dedicated our lives to the Lord. And to her, he says, was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. This is speaking of the church. Mm -hmm. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. He said unto me, right. Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Think about people religious today, people in churches mm -hmm. with sin in their lives, mm -hmm. and they expect to go to heaven mm -hmm. when they die. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Mm -hmm. You see, it is a great deceit to be spinning one's wheel. Yes. You are in church, but you got sin in your life. Mm -hmm. You're not living for God, you're living unto yourself. Mm -hmm. You might as well stay home. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You're not doing anybody any service. Amen. Mm -hmm. It is important to be getting ready Amen. for this marriage supper of the Lamb. Amen. Because the Lord is saying, it's a right. Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, these are the true sayings of God. Blessed. Jesus is calling everybody. He said, whosoever will. He said, he's not going to turn anybody back. Mm -hmm. But who will fall into this number? Who will be blessed in such a way they'll be counted worthy to partake in this wedding? There are many churches, but Jesus has only one, mm -hmm. only one church. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You better have his spirit, Amen. better have his Holy Spirit, Amen. better be looking for him, Amen. better be living for him. This is what the Lord was telling me, great supper, a parable of the great supper. How many the Lord is calling today? Mm -hmm. And they're offering excuses. Mm -hmm. I'm too busy. Mm -hmm. I'm in school. Mm -hmm. I can't come. Mm -hmm. Oh, my career. Mm -hmm. Oh, my job. Yeah. I'm too busy. Yeah. I got an important job. Yeah. I can't come to church. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Jesus? No! Mm -hmm. Jesus is life. Mm -hmm. Jesus is God. Mm -hmm. Jesus is yeah. Oh, can hold you up. Yes. No, but people don't even know that. Mm -hmm. Because they have made God small in their mind. Mm -hmm. To too carnal minded. Mm -hmm. And carnal mind is enmity against God. They're not looking at God. They're not, not looking at what he can do for them. We're talking about this great supper. And he gave me illustration. All of them give excuses. Here the Lord is said, oh, told his, his servant, after he showed them all that had happened, all the excuses, he said, being angry, he said, go out quickly onto the streets and lanes of the city and bring in either the poor, the maimed, and the hawk, and the blind. The servant said, it is done as thou hast commanded. Yet, there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. You see, he didn't stop there. He said, Call all of those people mm -hmm. on the street, in the highways and hedges, and they may come and that my house may be filled. Look at this. He didn't say, Oh, when those people that said, gave excuses, mm -hmm. maybe when they change their minds to come, he said, no, look at what he said, for I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. Oh, John was shown this much. He showed him, he said, he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, 
proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manna of fruits. And this tree says, which bare twelve manna of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. There shall be no more curse. Talk about any kind of trouble? No. All the former things are passed away. As the Lord said, Behold, I make all things new. He said, But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. You're talking about, about, about being ready. You can't say, I want to go to heaven and you're not serving God here. Mm -hmm. yes, you got to have been ready Amen. to be able to serve God. Amen. you got to have made up your mind. Amen. Amen. Made up your mind. You over there, somebody over there looking at Brother Wookie sideways. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you going to be when if Brother Wookie is there? You'll be over there having mm -hmm. trouble. And that won't work. Mm -hmm. Oh, because he said, I haven't seen Jesus, but I tell you, you've seen Brother Wookie. Amen. Amen. You happen to be, he happened to be his representative. Amen. Yes, You say, real for him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he happens to be his representative. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God given them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. It will be a place called the land of day. Mm -hmm. There'll be no night there. Amen. Amen. No candle neither light of the sun, for the Lord God given, giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. That's the hope of a Christian. That's what God has in store for his church. He cautions, he said unto me, these sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must surely be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. I thank God for this message and our further. He said, which of you, for which of you intending to build a tower, sit it not down first and count it up, count it the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it.